picking up the count in 10 seconds. Countdown clock will resume on my mark. Five, four, three, two, one, and we are at T minus nine minutes and counting. The ground launch sequencer has been initiated. NASA test director Jeff Spaulding is about to call for the transmittal of stored pre-launch commands as Discovery is prepared for launch on shuttle mission STS-116, less than nine minutes away on a 12-day mission to the International Space Station. T-minus, eight minutes and counting. OTC, PLT, essential bus is connected to fuel cell. Coming up on the time to retract the orbiter access arm away from the vehicle. T-minus seven minutes and counting. The orbiter test conductor has given pilot Bill Ophelein to go ahead to perform the auxiliary power unit pre-start procedures. T minus six minutes and counting. Standing by in 20 seconds for the pre-start of the auxiliary power units. That is now complete. APU activation will become in just about 15 seconds. And we have a go for APU start. The launch team has terminated liquid oxygen replenish to the external tank and the team is now initiating LOX train back. Start. 
T-minus, four minutes and counting. PLS go for purge sequence four. A final test of the flight control surfaces is now being conducted. This is a program pattern of movements designed to verify the readiness for launch of the engines and the other flight control surfaces. Final aero surface checks of the orbiter's wing elevons and rudder are being completed. This verifies the orbiter's hydraulic systems. We're looking at the main engines being gimbaled for a final test before launch. T-minus, three minutes and counting. Everything is looking good for launch tonight. This is the first nighttime shuttle launch in over four years. Go for ET LO2 pressurization. All systems on board Discovery are operating with no problems reported. Tonight's launch is expected to be visible to most of the southeastern coastal regions of the U.S. DLT, OTC, clear caution warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. And we are completing the purge of the shuttle's main engines. Everything continues to look good with Discovery. Discovery OTC, close and lock your visor, initiate OTC close. Discovery copies, close advisors in O2. T minus two minutes and counting. No unexpected error. Liquid hydrogen replenish on the external tank is now being terminated. T minus one minute, 35 seconds. All systems are go. We're about 90 seconds from launch of the Space Shuttle Discovery. T-minus, one minute, 15 seconds. The liquid hydrogen tank inside the external tank is reported to be at the proper flight pressures. T-minus, one minute and counting. T-minus, 50 seconds. We're transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. Discovery is now running off its three onboard fuel cells, coming up on a go for auto sequence start in 10 seconds. Yeah. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 22 seconds. T minus 15 seconds and counting. 10 seconds. We have a go for main engine start. Six, four, three, two, one. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery lighting up the night sky as we continue building the International Space Station. miles an hour, altitude one mile, down range of one and a half miles from the United States and all of it. Good, good engine, startling back to two thirds of its thrust. Passing air, maximum dynamic pressure, out to go supersonic. Seventeen hundred miles.
miles an hour. Downrange 10 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Since launch, Discovery already consumed more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant. It now weighs less than half that it did at liftoff. Altitude 18 miles. Speed 3,000 miles an hour. Already 22 miles northeast of Kennedy Space Center. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units. Three good fuel cells. Boost drops are confirmed. Clean separation of the two solid rockets. Discovery's three engines now powering the second stage. Discovery's orbital maneuvering system engines firing now to assist the climb into orbit. They'll fire for about a minute and 37 seconds. Discovery Houston, two engine Maroon. Two engine Maroon. That call means Discovery can perform a transatlantic oceanic land landing at Maroon, Spain if required. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Speed now, 4,500 miles an hour, altitude 45 miles. Downrange 78 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Actually, five minutes remaining until main engine cutoff. Speed almost 5,000 miles an hour, altitude 53 miles. Downrange 110 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Discovery Houston, negative return. Negative return. That call means Discovery has gained too much speed and altitude to return to the Kennedy Space Center for a landing if a problem arises. Just under four minutes until main engine cutoff. During that time, Discovery is going to triple its speed to reach the 17,400 miles an hour needed to reach Earth orbit. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, Three good fuel cells. Altitude 6,300 miles. 63 miles. Speed 6,500 miles an hour. Downrange 207 miles from Kennedy Space Center along the eastern seaboard of the United States. Discovery Houston, press to ATO, select Istris. Press to ATO, select Istris. Discovery now could reach an orbit lower than planned, but still safe on two engines. Speed 7,700 miles an hour. Altitude 67 miles. 290 miles off the eastern coast of the United States away from Kennedy Space Center. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Discovery Houston, single engine Ops 3. Single engine Ops 3. That call means that Discovery could perform a transoceanic abort landing on only one engine if required. So far all going well. Discovery should be Roll into a heads-up position now to help uh, assist its performance as it climbs into orbit and provide better communication through the tracking data relay satellite system. 
Discovery Houston, Press Tomiko, and single engine Istris 104. Press Tomiko, single engine Istris 104. Discovery could reach its planned orbit on only two engines if required, and it could reach Istris France on just one engine. Just under two minutes to main engine cutoff. Altitude 66 miles. Speed 11,000 miles an hour. Already 500 miles away from Kennedy Space Center. Discovery Houston, single engine press 104. Single engine press 104. And Discovery Houston, Billy, we see a nominal shutdown plan. Copy, nominal shutdown plan, thanks. About a minute to main engine cutoff. Normal shutdown planned. Speed 14,000 miles an hour, altitude 64 miles, downrange 643 miles. Continue to watch live downlink television pictures from an external tank camera. Standing by for main engine cutoff. Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff. External tank separation confirmed. Special discovery now on orbit on its own. Discovery Houston, we saw a nominal Miko. Ohms 1 is not required, and we just watched some great video you get off the tank. Copy, nominal Miko, Ohms 1 not required, and you got a lot of smiling faces up here. 